Ansemar Cal is a public company listed on the Trinidad and Tobago Stock Exchange. Its subsidiary is also listed on the OECS Stock Exchanges where we have two breweries, one in St. Kitts and one in Grenada. When we bought the company in 1986, the share price was 35 cents at the Stock Exchange. Today, the, value, the, the price of that stock is nearly $67, which indicates the quality of management and growth, which we have now established. Ansem Macal is a $12 billion organization. It's made up of the media sector, the distribution sector, the manufacturing sector, the beverage sector, financial services, retail and distribution, and as well automotive. Ansem Macal is a very diversified company, and most Trinidadians would come in touch with our company and its products and its services on a daily basis. Ansem Macal's financial performance has been quite significant over the last decade. In 2003-2004, our share price was less than $20. Our share price today is over $66, so that our share price would have increased over 300%, and our profit would have moved from $325 million to in excess of a billion dollars, $1.1 billion. And we believe our best days are still yet to come. Beyond dividends, we have offered to our shareholders a courtesy card which gives them certain benefits and certain discounts. Not all of our shareholders understand the range and the depth of Ansem Macau. The automotive sector consists of seven companies, six in Trinidad and one in Barbados. Deals with all areas of the automotive industry, from industrial agricultural equipment to passenger cars, commercial cars, luxury brands. We are on a strong footing for the last eight years. Uh, last year we had best performance of the sector. I believe we're rated now at number three as far as the sector in the group and that I see continuing. In terms of going forward, what I want to see is more attention being paid to customer service. We got to build relationship with customers and treat them like we treat our family. Cair Brewery is a, is a company that brews and bottles beverages, both malt-based and soft drinks. We also manufacture glass bottles and jars for the soft drink, beer, spirits, and food manufacturers throughout the Caribbean. We intend to conquer new markets, whether they be in Central America, South America, areas that we have previously not gone into. We will do so through innovative and creative products, um, both in terms of our beverage side of our business and in our packaging operations. The beverage sector continues to perform very well and will continue to play its part in the success that is Ansem Macau. Okay, the distribution sector comprises of three main distribution companies located in Trinidad, Barbados, and Guyana, and in Tobago, Tomco, and also the recently acquired TV liquor store at the airport. The company in Trinidad, Fortunes Marketing, about six years ago, expanded its warehousing and office facilities and also modernized. And to Macal Barbados, our distribution company, Brighton Spokes, similarly did an expansion six, seven years ago into the children frozen um, facilities. 
and uh, about to also expand its warehousing facility. The answer Guyana, for the first time seven years ago, acquired its own property and have now outgrown that facility and we are about to further expand in 2015. The distribution sector represents approximately 9% of Answer Macau's overall profitability and it continues to strive for further growth and development within the Answer Macau group. The ambition within the sector is to retain approximately 15% of the group's profitability within the next two to three years. To achieve this would require further expansion of our current portfolio and our current business and also regional expansion. There are five companies in the financial services sector. And some merchant bank, Tattel, Tattel Life. Uh, those companies are in Trinidad and Consolidated Finance and Brighton's Insurance, which are in Barbados. Those five companies have about just over $6 billion in assets and generated last year just under $350 million in EBT. For in 2004, Ansem Merchant Bank purchased Tattel from, from its parent company. That put it in a position now where it was able to attempt and execute much larger financing. Through the acquisition, the balance sheet of Ansem Merchant Bank increased about tenfold. The benefit of Ansem Merchant Bank and Tattel in, the, in, in their configuration is that the bank as a lender has the ability to work with its subsidiary to provide insurance. Um, so that simple concept was actually solidified and in one product was developed and basically revolutionized the way that vehicle financing is done. Between 2005 and 2009, um, the bank introduced five mutual funds and is now a mutual fund manager. Um, and even more recently, the merchant banking division of Ansem Merchant Bank had deal flow um, in the excess of a billion dollars. And based on where we are today, 2014 will be similar. We have a group of very young, motivated and capable executives and we're doing everything that we can to continue on that successful. Foundation. The manufacturing sector represents over $1 billion in sales. It's a very substantial part of the Ansem Macal Group. And having been a beneficiary of $750 million of invested capital over the last 10 years, several significant developments have occurred in the manufacturing sector in the last five years. Those developments include one, an investment in new concrete making equipment in 2004 and 2005. That was represented by the Besser and the Superpark plants, which were a state-of-the-art plants from a concrete perspective. Most recently, we invested in the ABS plant, which is our block making plant. That's a $400 million investment in state-of-the-art clay block making equipment. We also invested in our chemicals business where we expanded our plant by 20% and we are now seeing exports going into Jamaica and exports increasingly going into other parts of the Caribbean. Both Sissons and Penta are now located on the same compound, on the same plant. We maintain the integrity of the recipes of each so that the formulations of each are kept separate, but we were able to streamline the business in terms of um, the efficiencies around the business and efficiencies around the plant. We also invested in our packaging business with new PET equipment. So we've continuously invested in the manufacturing business. Many years ago, we also introduced a new renovated match line as well. So several good things have happened from an investment standpoint in our manufacturing business. So the manufacturing sector is poised to make an even greater contribution as a sector and also into Ansem Macal. The services sector is made up of a very diverse group of companies, um, starting with Answer Technologies, which is a company that services the energy sector and the manufacturing sector in, in and out of the Answer Macau Group. Alston's Travel and Alston Shipping are two legacy companies. Mackinac Business Machines um, is probably better known as MBM. 
crown industries which print envelopes and stationery etc. We've done a lot of transformation work certainly in the last two years in restructuring these companies um, so that they, they focus on the growth opportunities in the market. Um, and that, is, that has meant that we are pushing into areas that the group wasn't in, in before. Canada will do better. I think Ansem Macau is well positioned in the area of, of, of service. We've done the heavy lifting, if you like, the hard structural work, and now, we, now we're gonna reap the benefits of it in the years, in the years ahead. Guardian Media Limited as is the media arm of the Ansem Macau group of companies and we span three distinct spaces in media. A lot has happened in this sector. We're looking at this business now with fresh eyes. You're going to have a younger segment who will only know how to get media, how to get news, how to get information through devices. All media companies have to make a very rapid transition to a significant digital presence. But we still have to remember in all of this, whether it's traditional media, whether it's digital media, whether it's instantaneous content and interactive capability with consumers, we have a sacred duty. And that sacred duty is to be the defenders of democracy, and we must never lose sight of the significant and relevant role that media plays in any democratic society. We will continue to be a quality um, publication that people could come to and find balance, find facts, uh, find the story behind the story that probes deeply, that asks the right questions and we are committed to continue to be that kind of publication. What we do at Group Business Development is we are tasked with delivering new revenue, new business and growth. We support the group with the management of the mergers and acquisitions pipeline as well as specific developmental objectives within the seven sectors where we currently operate and additionally we seek new markets and also uh, incubate new business projects. We look for robust businesses, businesses that in the first instance will fit with our existing uh, areas of competency but at the same time we are not adverse to looking at opportunities outside of our current uh, sphere of uh, expertise. Business must be scalable there must be a competent and uh, secure management team. It must operate within uh, a sector that we can see growth, we can see synergies and possibilities for collaboration and a good strategic fit for the Ansem Macau Group. We're able to consolidate and bring a level of rigor and a level of analysis to business development, an approach which previously was not there. What we've really been able to achieve is the culmination of a very large pipeline of opportunities with which we will work assiduously to, to close and deliver those opportunities. We have been able to articulate specific growth poles for us outside of our current sectors and we've been able to identify those as healthcare, renewable energy and maritime. Coming out of our retreat we set a goal and objective that between $300 and $500 million new revenue would come from businesses within which we do not currently operate. So that specifically speaks to the growth objective of new business. Asvacal is diverse in many respects. It's diverse in the industries within in which it operates. And it, it's broad in that it pretty much touches every aspect of day-to-day -day life in Trinidad. We are there. Likewise, you see that in our people. But there is an Ants Macau type of person that I look for when recruiting people at any level. 
Someone who would take the initiative, someone who would take the responsibility, someone that has the integrity and the drive to create and to lead a team as an executive. We hope that Ansem Atal is an organization where people can come and fulfill their dreams. We have been investing heavily in upgrading all our factories and all of our industrial um, plants. We've spent quite a lot of time and quite a lot of money in upgrading our IT infrastructure. But more importantly than that, we have spent a lot of time as well upgrading our people. In the past year, I'm very pleased that we've introduced something called the um, Ansem Macau EMBA. And it's an accredited MBA that we do at the Graduate School of Business that is branded around Ansem Macau specifically. The most important or unique aspect of how Ansem Macau, the group, invests in its people goes to the heart of its entrepreneurial spirit. We take risks with people, risks that are measured and managed. It's no coincidence that this, this group is the top performing conglomerate of the Caribbean because there's that focus and um, energy around performance. We continue to have record results, we continue to do better than we did before, and we remain restless and hungry to do better again. And that makes it very dynamic and, and fun. From a social responsibility, we're involved in the very fabric of the, the country, our society. We strive to do what is right from an environmental standpoint. We try to do what is right from our relationships with our staff. We make great effort in being part of the communities in which we operate in. Also, we have initiated the Anthony N. Sabler Caribbean Awards. These awards go to the heart of people accomplishing and recognizing accomplishment. All this talent the Caribbean has and many people doing phenomenal work in the Caribbean and are not being recognized. And these awards go a little way to recognize the great work and the great talent that we have in the Caribbean. So Macau balance sheet is very robust. Balance sheet is practically debt free, which allows us an opportunity to raise capital and raise debt to grow the organization. The share price has really stood the test of time has demonstrated and our shareholders uh, continue to demonstrate a level of confidence in the performance of the organization. If the Anson Macau Group is able to achieve a small portion of the prospects and the opportunities before it, we should see an organization that has the potential to double itself in size and in profitability. Even though Anson Macau has done very well and has delivered value to its employees, to its shareholders, to its customers. I think the best years of Ansem Macal are ahead of it. I, I see the future as more investment, more expansion into other Caribbean islands, to Latin America, South America, growth outside of the Caribbean. The future of Ansem Macal is invested in the people that make up Ansem Macal. We have amongst us some of the brightest and most capable talent with a level of entrepreneurial spirit that is second to none. The shareholders would recognize that the group's performance in 2013 was its best ever. The group has consistently performed in a meaningful way over many years. This is in part due to the group's management continuing to strive for efficiency improvement and seeking new opportunities. The, group, the group's management is determined to ensure that the shareholders benefit from its investment within the group. Anson Macal is a performance-driven company um, with a significant foundation of sound business principles and a tremendous amount of resources, both financial and human resources. 
They go into, into areas and they invest in things that can make a particular return. That is a model that has worked extraordinarily well. It's very effective. And I think sharehold, shareholders um, can continue to expect um, the kind of returns that they have seen historically. And so McCall Group has achieved most recently where it crossed the, the barrier of a billion dollars is, is no small task. This really was achieved by philosophy of performance. The diversity of the Ants Macau Group is its strength and further diversity is where the group will continue to go from strength to strength. To our shareholders, we believe that we give you a fair return and growth on your investment. We take very seriously our responsibility to protect this investment and the good. Over the last 20 years, I do not believe that there's any share in Trinidad and Tobago that has generated the return that Ansa Macau has. And we're determined to continue our drive forward and to bring real shareholder value to all who have invested in Ansa Macau. I retired 12 years ago of Ansa Macau. And I'm happy to tell you that the achievement of our chairman have been phenomenal. Our entry has seemed to be very small. We are looking forward to growing substantially into the future. We're the best place to be, the best place to invest, the place for performance. It's 133 years of dedication, growth and success. Just imagine what comes next.